and trending, Kelly Rowland stands her ground during the Cannes Film Festival after appearing to be rushed away from the spotlight on the red carpet. Many were wondering what happened and what Kelly said. Well, let's start by what Kelly said to the security guard while walking the red carpet. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. No, don't talk to me like that. You are not my mother and you don't talk to me like that. According to a statement by Roland herself, there were other women who were there that did not look like her and they didn't get the sculpt or pushed off or told to get off the red carpet. In addition, the security guard appeared to have stepped on her custom Anamika Kana red dress. Diddy and Cassie speak on their DV relationship with Diddy claiming it was the darkest time in his life and that he had hit rock bottom saying he was disgusted then when he did it and discussed it down. But for many, the apology fell short as listeners weighed in on how the apology replicates prior excuses he has provided in past interviews, also referring to Chris Brown and Rihanna's DV as the darkest time during an interview with Ellen DeGeneres. Sean Kingston was arrested with his 62-year-old mother, Janice Turner, in California on fraud charges after a SWAT team raided his rented South Florida mansion. In governmental terms, the Colorado governor signed a bill regulating funeral homes, giving the state more oversight of the funeral home industry after 190 rotting bodies were discovered. A UK lawmaker, Craig McKinley, who wanted to be known as the Bionic MP after his legs and feet were amputated due to sexist, decides to not to run for re-election. Hey, Dave Chappelle weighs in on the Israel-Hamas war, referring to it as a genocide, striking the Gaza Strip during his performance in the capital of the United Arab Emirates, while urging Americans to fight anti-Semitism so Jews don't feel like they need to be protected by it. Baltimore's former top prosecutor Marilyn Mosby is sentenced to 12 months of home detention, three years of supervision, and forced to forfeit her Florida vacation home with the court alleging she would not have been able to secure the mortgage without a false $5,000 gift letter from her now ex-husband, Nick Mosby and withdrawing $90,000 of her retirement funds to purchase her property. What a way to ruin someone else's business. Tell us what you think about this week's trending news. Keep up with the latest trending news with Girl TV on Roku and Amazon Fire TV. Missed a show? Catch the replay on YouTube channel Girl TV. Subscribe if you are watching the replay.